Welcome to Daggett Farmhouse. We've just stepped back into 1760. And so here in the colony of Connecticut, the Daggett family lived in this house. And Sam Daggett was a house right by trade. So meaning he would have framed the house. So as you look through it, you can see his workmanship and the marks and all the beams by his axe. So it's really kind of neat to see it all this time later. And in the room that you're standing in right now, this is the Great Hall. So a lot of activity would have gone on. It wasn't just like a living room or anything like that. So the spinning wheel, it was very common for houses to have spinning wheels. And young children would have been doing this as a chore from an early age. And um, kind of all the wool production and things like that. We're getting dinner ready even at this early hour. We have that fire going because you have to warm up your water in the kettle. We have some beans. And different things and so besides just framing houses like this one and a lot of others in their area in Connecticut Sam would have also made wagon wheels so he probably would have made the wheel on their spinning wheel this big walking wheel he made coffins he pulled teeth he had an apple orchard that made cider rented out his ox cart so in a time in a community where bartering and selling to your neighbors and kind of exchange of goods was a common practice. He would have been a big asset to his community. He had a lot. And the thing that's very neat about it is we have his record books. So we can look through in his own handwriting and know what kind of things they produced. And so we're able to recreate it a little bit. So come into the kitchen here. So this room would have had the low ceiling, not that they were a lot shorter than we are today, but this is where they would have spent a considerable amount of time in the winter. It's not like today we're all, our house is one nice consistent temperature year round. For them it would have been a lot of work to get it warm and keep it warm. So in the winter they could shut the door to the parlor as well as the door to the great hall and this would have been a smaller area to heat and keep warm. And so they might even sleep in here. And that time of the year we have a lot of things um, that would have been brought in from the garden. We have some herbs hanging now, looks like weeds there, but we're already starting to harvest things from the garden. Um, and as different beans and apples and onions and all kinds of things, they'll be dried and dehydrated as well. And so things are starting to get busy already as we're pulling a few things out of the garden. You can see by the window there, we have some, those I believe are the daylilies and we're drying them and we'll be saving them for dyeing our cloth, our wool, in the fall. So everything will be, this time of year, building up to the fall when we have probably the most work out of the year.